take my hand And we'll go away to a different place we'll Float on air And we'll hide away I'll be your escape Look up and feel the shifting winds Tossing us around again Underneath the continental crust because it's hot, it melts. Yeah. And so then it's gonna come out like the lava. So I just want you guys to understand that because you do have to make fill in that chart. The chart's gonna ask you what landform could be created from this happening. Okay? 
So now let's move on to number four. Number four, you're going to take both of the graham, first, first and foremost, take the chocolate and the graham cracker off the marshmallow fluff. Boobies. 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 Dip it inside the water. Inside the water. You're just gonna, and you're not going to be like soaking it. Okay. The one that you haven't used. The one that you haven't used. And you're gonna just, you're just gonna do a little dip. Okay, just to get it wet. It's not a drench. All right, you ready? So how far is that? Barely in. Barely in. Just put one. You're not gonna put them back on top of the. You're not gonna put it back on top of the top of the marshmallow fluff because it gets really nasty. Oh. So you're gonna take the one you got wet, the one that's not wet, and you're literally going to push them together. Coming together to make a diver, um, a convergent or a make a mountain, okay, at a conversion boundary. So let me say that again because I confused myself. This is an example of a conversion boundary using continental crust and continental crust. They come together to make a mountain. We see a little mountain. So the question asks you, Grace, let me see. What happened to the edges of the cra uh, cracker when you push them together? It, pushed. it goes. It, it made a Make a mountain. They pushed up. You should see it pushing up. It pushed up. It okay, buckle. Now, the last step, I'm not going to have you guys do. I'm going to actually probably demonstrate it myself. No, but I want to do only, it. Be only because your graham crackers are already wet. Not one of them. Okay? And so I'm just going to do it for you. I'm just going to take a piece of graham cracker. I'm going to split it. Hold on a second. I'm just going to do the same thing as you. It's going to make an earthquake. We're going to make a trend. Uh, if you read it, you'd be able to tell. Okay? If I take two pieces of graham cracker, which are not even at all, they're not smooth, okay? And I try to rub them together. It, what it rubs together smoothly? No. Yes. No. no. Okay? The edges. Ew. are rough, just like the edges of two transform boundaries. I mean, you're thinking about talking about two big uh, tectonic plates I can do that. rubbing together. That's definitely not going to create like a nice, okay, it's gonna shake. You're gonna get a fault, which is a break in the earth's crust, which is then going to cause earthquakes, okay? So not only did I want to have you do this like fun activity, but I also wanted you guys to kind of see how it you know, looks what, what it would look like under like under the ocean. Why the oceanic crust goes underneath the continental? Why we have volcanoes? You're thinking like, okay, why do we have volcanoes? Well, something goes down and it melts. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and I'm gonna give you a piece so the other person who didn't touch it will be able to partake and eat.
colors are gone And they drifted back from where they came And they will not be missed Look up and feel the shifting winds Tossing us around again wanted to kind of wrap up the day and just say that today was so it was so refreshing to have the kids actually work participate and complete the lab and actually have the light bulbs go off about how things work together and I was really excited um you saw a little snippet of the lab it's called the s'mores tectonic lab and we talk about the plate boundaries for the tectonic plates that come together to create the different types of landforms that we have here on Earth. So using food um, always gets them excited and it's just really nice to see the bling of the light bulb go off to basically confirm that they understand what's going on. So really excited. Today was one of those days that just really just made me understand why I decided to teach and have fun. Um, I also found a really cool, um, what is it, channel on YouTube where they recorded inside, I guess inside their house. Um, it has the Christmas tree up and has a Christmas wreath over a fireplace and it's crackling. And then it has Christmas music over top of it. So that was really cool. So we had that playing on our screen and we were working. And as I had to do two different groups in my classroom because the lab is like freezing, something's wrong with the heat in there. So I had the table set up with the high top tables that I have that were raised. That was our lab area. And then the other kids were working on some other assignments. And then I switched. So I did two different two groups. And if you hear a lot of background noise from the previous, when they were working, that's basically like the other groups were kind of talking and stuff too. And then the kids were talking and discussing and different things like that. So hopefully you were able to kind of hear how we discussed and what was going on and different things like that. So I hope so. Um, but anyway, I will see you tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 13. And we're going to try to clear up some misconceptions, try to get some work done, try to answer some questions. And hopefully it works out. So I will talk to you later. Bye.